Hey guys, uh, welcome to your career and money reading for Aries. Uh, this is going to be for your April 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. So we're going to take a look and see what's around you guys when it comes to your career and your money. And then we'll finish off the week to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on for the rest of April and onward when it comes to your career and your money. Uh, so apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aries people. Not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Uh, what else? Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live, all right? So Aries, Aries, tell me about Aries when it comes to their career and their money for uh, April 2023. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter signs for Aries. Tell me about Aries in their career and their money for uh, April 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for Aries. We have the Knight of Cups and Judgment. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Judgment, Sagittarius, Energy. Um, we have the Hierophant and the Death card. Mm. You know, when it comes to your career and your work, I feel like, uh, you know, you could be in an institution right now that is going through a lot of changes here. And I feel like it's changes for the better because I feel like there's like a major restructuring here. It's sort of like, you know, I feel like whoever runs this place, it's sort of like a major aha moment sort of thing. It's kind of like, you know, it, it could have been that, you know, you guys, you know, the employees are complaining and I feel like something is being done about it. You know, things can be better or that things are getting better here with the Ace of Pentacles here and the Page of Pentacles. You know, you could be coming to a realization that, you know, you're better off moving towards something new here. It could be that I feel like, you know, you could be walking away from this, okay? Even though all this is going on, I feel like you could be walking away from this because the pay is not really that great, okay? We have the Queen of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, and the Ten of Pentacles. One of the things I'm getting is that you are a really skilled worker here, and I feel like you definitely could find something better elsewhere here, Aries. It could be that you're making a huge jump in your career here. Perhaps, you know, some of you guys are maybe starting a new job or that some of you guys are about to take on a new position here. I mean, there is a big offer here. Yeah, there is a big offer that's coming towards you. And I feel like this decision regarding this offer is going to change your life because I do feel like, you know, it does pay a lot more, maybe perhaps in your, uh, uh, you know, uh, in the current situation that you're in. Ace of Pentacles, the Magician, Gemini, Virgo, Page of Pentacles, and the World. Yeah, I, so I do feel like you manifested a new, new, new job here. Okay, I do feel like there's a cycle that's ending here. So, you know, I do feel like you're about to make a decision that's going to really change your life here because it's almost like hitting the jackpot. Uh, it, it, yeah, it could be that the current situation that you're in, you're working too much, you're a skilled worker, you know, but you're not getting paid enough. But I do feel like this new job is going to pay you a lot, Aries, okay? What else do we have here for Aries? Some of you guys could work as a therapist or a teacher or something like that, okay? Uh, so you guys could work in like life insurance also. What else do we have here for Aries regarding their career and their money for April 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Aries and Jupiter signs for Aries here regarding their career and their money. Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords here and the Six of Cups. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. We have the King of Swords, Knight of Wands, 
Some of you guys might be teachers here. Uh, some of you guys could be uh, par partnered up with the teacher, like romantically involved with the teacher. And some of you guys could be like taking a new position where, you know, you're getting paid more. The thing is, like, if you guys are in a school system, you guys either are moving to a bigger school system or a smaller school system. OK, so uh, King to Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Six of Cups. We have the Seven of Cups here and the Three of Pentacles. You know, one of the things I'm getting is that you're going to be working a lot more here, Aries. Yeah, but I do feel like you're getting paid more, though, with the Six of Pentacles here. And another, th another thing, yeah, I feel like you're going to be working a lot more. Six of Cups, Ten of Swords. If you guys have children, I feel like you guys are not spending enough time with your children here. But yeah, I do feel like there is a cycle that's coming to a close here where, you know, you're taking on a new position where you're getting paid a lot more. King of Swords here and the Nine of Wands, Knight of Wands here and the Knight of Swords. You know, one of the things I'm getting here regarding the situation that you're in, you know, your relationship could be struggling here because I do feel like there's a partner that's tired of someone here not being around. Okay, Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands. You know, I feel like someone here is not having fun in this connection anymore because someone here works a lot. I do, I do know that teacher schedules can be, can be a bit overwhelming from what I heard from my friends that are teachers. Seven of Cups. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. And the Ten of Cups here. You know, one of the things I, I do feel like, you know, regarding your romantic relationship, I do feel like it's a hurdle, but I do feel like you guys are going to overcome it here with the Knight of Pentacles here and the Ten of Cups. Okay, but yeah, there is a new position that you're about to take on here. You know, I do feel like it's all also kind of like an internship and also like an apprenticeship here because I feel like you're also learning more here too, or that you're learning more in order for you to excel in your career or you know get paid more or something like that. Don't teacher don't teachers have to take more classes in order for them to get paid more? It's kind of like, you know, getting credits and stuff like that. You have to pay for those credits or you have, you have to take, take those classes. But yeah, I see you working more. And if you're in a relationship here, I do see it working out here, even though you're hitting this major hurdle here. So uh, Aries, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.